So here we are. And what are we going to do today? Today we're going to be having a look at these motors here, the uh, F60 2450KV. These are the T motors? Yes. And uh, we did do a video earlier on. Uh, that was just a flight video, it had no stick movements. Uh, and we're, but we didn't actually talk about what the motors were like. Yeah. So um, you can probably talk us through the flight and we'll try and do what we did last time and do some stick movements. Yeah. Um, but yeah, all in all, you're pretty happy with these motors at the moment? Yeah, I love them. They're really, really good. So he was using Cobras before this, but uh, his Cobras were getting quite old. So uh, um, t motor got these out, there, out to us. So we're trying these out and see exactly how they go with the GoPro, etc. So yeah, let's, let's make take it, happen. it up for a flight. Now you have done a tune with this, haven't you? Yes, I have. And it did tune really well. But yeah, that's nice. And this is running Betaflight 2.2 also, so... So, Betaflight 2.20. must be freaking everyone out. Yeah, this is the By the sheer beta. fact that we haven't actually updated. So we have, we're actually running newer version of our Betaflight on some of the other quads. Now we've got some people walking on the tracks to stay clear of the track. Um, looks like a mum and a little boy, so we might have to stop the video and um... Oh, balance plug. Oh, it's not even plugged in. So he's going to fly without plugging it in. So we're going to try and take off without it plugged in. Nah. The two motors aren't that good, are they? And, um, yeah, well you see the two motors actually have a new feature where they draw out the energy from the air around it. Isn't it a zero point energy? Yeah, basically it's a zero point module, so yeah. Okay, okay. I wonder if anyone... So we're going to go to stick movements. ZPM. ZPM? Yeah. Anyway, we'll go to stick movements. I need to make it better and call it a ZPM. Okay, you should be good to... Wait a second, let me get this camera right. Okay, I've got it about right now. Yeah, are the people still on the path? Uh, they're on the path. Oh, they're, they're going to sit down and watch you from the bench. Okay. So you're going to be doing a show for them. So you're pretty clear. You know where the bench is, don't you? Yeah. Where the closest one? Yeah. Yeah, they're okay, sitting sweet. down. Let's take that for a ride. It is really smooth. So where are you noticing the difference between these and the cobras? Where? Okay, well obviously these have a lot more power than like other motors around. But You're concentrating, aren't you? Yeah. He's actually having fun. He's trying to talk and concentrate and hopefully okay. not put the quad into a tree. Yeah. So where these motors are really good is that like obviously they've got more power than a cobra, as I said before. But about the same power as like an F40 or something like that. Like a, they just got a touch more top end. But where you really feel is in the low end, where you've got all this low end precision. But then obviously if you want to, you can actually go quicker and still have like more top end than what you have with say a normal 2205. Is it also more likely for the over-unders? Is it not? I would say it is, yeah. A little bit. But it's more in the low end where you really notice these motors work well. So it's like where other motors um, that we've tried have like just top end control. These are really good. You can play control. around in that tree as much as you like because the little boy's watching you with his dad, with <laughs> his granddad. I'll say hi. So he's um, actually enjoying it. Yeah, he's loving it. I think his dad's photographing it, videoing it. Let's do some passes for him. This thing's so controlled, actually. Yeah, it's beautiful. Twenty seconds. Yep, you've definitely got an audience. <laughs> There's no two ways about it all. Like it's super silky smooth through maneuvers. Like no. Nine, eight, seven, There's barely any eight, of those vibrations when five, you go into a prop wash. Now this is running um, Two, SN20s, one. not SN20s, sorry. Little B20s. Little B20s, not the pros either. No. Or BL Halley S. So hopefully we'll get that going on your second um, alien, isn't it? Yeah, I should probably land, shouldn't I? Should probably bring it up a landing. This is where that low end power is going to come in handy also. Except when you don't cut at the right time. A little bit of bounce. But yeah, so they're really nice motor. Um, they are a little bit heavier than your F40s and stuff like that, but they do have a little What's bit What's the weight of them? Ah, uh, they're, I think, like 31 or 32. 31 or 32, okay. It's All like, right. it's a tiny bit more. So realistic, it's not going to make Yeah, no. it's not that much more, and it's a little bit more grunt. Okay, so you're probably so, talking yeah. about 8 grams all up on mm. the um, coppers? And obviously with these two, if you're carrying like a 6-inch prop or something like that, yes, you're going to feel the difference even more, because yeah, these are 
big and rotor, so. You're running five inch props at the moment, so with the six inch props, that's probably what they're more ideal for, aren't they? Yeah, but you'd obviously have to be careful too because they might rip off, rip blades if you're. Yes, running. we've had that problem, haven't we? Yeah, uh, like 2300 Nova, if you, your props are even like a little bit damaged, <laughs> you can spit them. Mm. Or if they're not really good quality, so. Yeah, so depending on what props you use. Mm -hmm. Anyway. We'll leave the video at that, and we will do, we'll do some follow-up videos. We've got some more um, team motors that we've got to try out. Yes. But we'll do those in the coming weeks. So uh, we'll leave the video with that. See ya.